Hello and welcome to the Pixels First EPOS Tutorials. This video will guide you step by step on how to add and make changes to items in the software. To add an item that has a barcode, it's a straightforward process that you can easily follow. Just take your scanner and scan the barcode. Before you begin scanning, ensure that your search bar is empty. This will ensure a smooth and accurate scanning process. After scanning the barcode, a pop-up will appear, prompting you to add the product to the system. Please press Yes to proceed with adding the product. After pressing Yes, a new window will appear, allowing you to input additional details and confirm the addition of the product to the system. In this window, you will find that the item code and barcode fields are automatically filled in. You just need to enter the name of the product and choose the corresponding category. To proceed, please enter both the sale price and purchase price for the product, ensuring that these prices include taxes. Next, you will need to enter the quantity of the product in this field. Now, you will need to select whether the product is subject to VAT or non-VAT. If the product has an expiry date, you can enter the date in this field. Finally, click on the Save button to store the entered information and save the item in the system. Now, if you scan the barcode again, the item will be displayed here. Now, we will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to edit an existing item. To start editing, simply click on the Quick Edit button located at the bottom right corner of the page. Now, you will notice multiple search options available to find your desired product. You can search by barcode, name, choose the search method that suits your preference and proceed with editing the product. Let's search for the product by scanning the barcode. Simply use your scanner to scan the barcode, and the system will automatically locate and display the corresponding product for editing. In this section, you can view and modify all the details of the product. Feel free to make any necessary changes to the information according to your requirements. Once you have completed the editing process, scanning the product will display the updated information reflecting the modifications you made. This allows you to verify that the changes have been successfully applied. Next, we will demonstrate the step-by-step -step procedure for deleting an item using a scanner. For this task, just visit the back office. On the left-hand side, click on the View and Edit button. At this point, you'll be able to view a list of all the items you've added in the software. If you wish to search for a specific item, you have four search options available. Let's use the barcode search. Simply scan the barcode of the item. This is the item you wish to delete. Choose it and then press the delete button. Click yes. You can now see that the item has been successfully deleted. Now, we're going to show you another way to add an item. First, go to the back office. Now, look for the Add button on the left-hand side of the screen and click on it. Next, you will see a form. Please make sure to fill in all the necessary details on the form. Step 1. Pick the category that best fits your item. If the item already has a barcode on it, simply use the scanner to scan that barcode. If the product doesn't have a barcode, don't worry. You can easily create a random barcode using our system. Just click on that button, and a random barcode will be generated. Type the name of the product here, for example, water. From here, you can choose the unit of measurement for the product. Now, you can choose between VAT or non-VAT for that product. You can now set the sale price for that product. These options are for wholesale dealers. If you don't have a wholesale business, ignore them. 
Moving forward now, you have the option to include images. You are free to choose any color you prefer. If the product has an expiry date, you can also set it. Here, you need to add the stock quantity as well. You can now enter the maximum and minimum stock levels in this section. Let's say you input the value 200 for the maximum stock level. Furthermore, set the minimum stock level to 10 here. This way, the software will let you know when your stock falls below 10, allowing you to effectively manage your inventory. Now, simply click on the Save button to store your item. If you return to the Sales screen and select the Soft Drinks category, you will be able to view your item listed in this section.